Oh, I love my job. Construction management as a whole is just managing the overall process of it, from project development, where the owner's deciding what they want to build, um, and then we're there through the duration of construction. It's unique in that we deal with the design team, which is you know, composed of architects and engineers, and then we also deal with the subcontractors. It's kind of an orchestra that we kind of uh, try to conduct to make sure everybody's kind of on the same page. The key responsibilities that we have as construction managers are making sure the project's delivered on time and on budget. In the company, uh, we tend to differentiate into either project engineers or project superintendents. Uh, project engineers basically work on the paperwork side of the business. I'm tracking everything for the owner on paper. So if they didn't have me, then we wouldn't be able to track the proper materials or that the architect has specified are on site. Um, any of the questions that the contractors have, I make sure that the architect's answering them. The superintendent side, they're the ones that are actually out in the field coordinating with the field staff. Contractors come out here and they're getting ready to put it in and, and if they're confused, it's our job to make sure that the, any questions that they have are clarified. The architect communicates to us what he wants, we communicate that to the subcontractor and then any questions in between, we're solving those problems or going back to the design team saying, hey, that can't work. I enjoyed math and science, and I loved building things, just having a hands-on type of approach. And construction management was the thing that kind of tied all those together. Nothing stays the same. It's always moving, very dynamic. I remember when I was little, I, I used to stare at houses and say, how is that built? And just the unique, unique ways that buildings are built. Well, the construction industry um, as a whole is driven through STEM. You know, science, uh, we're dealing with physics, the way different loads uh, work with gravity. Um, technology, the industry is really getting technology driven, utilizing 3D modeling software. Engineering wise, we use it on a daily basis. Math, we use measurements all the time, calculating square footage, yardage, volume, area. For life in general, I think any type of STEM curriculum or STEM course is beneficial for your life. I went to the University of Cincinnati. I started out in architectural engineering and decided that I liked more of the building and management side versus the design side. Through school, uh, you learn the general trades, the different mechanical systems, electrical, plumbing. Um, you just have a general knowledge, not diving into the specifics too much. Through co-ops and my opportunities to work with Turner Construction Company, I was able to get hired full-time because of the learning experiences that I gained working for Turner. And a co-op is actually a learning opportunity. Instead of the classroom, you actually go to the job sites, you go to work on a daily basis, and they pay you. So I started working and co-oping in construction companies and ended up with Turner. Construction kind of has that connotation of dirty, hands-on labor work. But it's a business. I came to work for Turner straight out of school as a field engineer. I actually worked on a job site day to day with uh, the trade contractors coordinating the work that went in place. I also had roles as what I would call project engineer doing uh, all the paperwork. From there I moved on to leadership roles on uh, large projects. I was the project manager of a hundred million dollar hospital expansion. A typical project would last between 18 to 24 months which offers you a quick turnaround time if you think about it of a project. So you're seeing, you know, in the life of your career, a bunch of different projects that you've been involved in. When I started with, at Turner, I was a field engineer, which means you're just out assisting the superintendent, primarily focused on maybe one or two trades, maybe watching the concrete guy. Currently, I'm in a cost engineer role where I see, oversee a portfolio of projects and just focus on the financial or cost aspect of it to make sure every dollar is accounted for. You can see a piece of dirt come into this huge, magnificent, tall structure that'll be there for years to come. You can take family and friends to see it. 
Literally, if you miss a day of work, you've missed a lot of work that's been put up. Our day is spent primarily problem solving. And that's the fun of our business, is once you get everybody kind of doing the same thing and working on to the right goal and, and getting that piece in place, there's the real reward in, in what we do. It's ever-changing. There's something always evolving, new ways of doing things, new types of materials to work with. It pays well. We're managing uh, the conversations between the architect, the engineer, and the person who's actually putting it in. I mean, you're, we're building buildings. I think that's a pretty neat thing to do. It's a huge art project if you were to think of it that way. I'm extremely important. I love my job. It's awesome.